Uzi Octopus, A Tale of a Clever Critter by Suzanne Tate, illustrated by James Melvin. Uzi Octopus was a strange-looking critter with long, squirmy arms. He was a member of the mollusk family with its hard-shelled oysters and clams. But Uzi had no shell to protect him. Underneath his head was a beak like a bird, and he had big eyes and a large brain. Uzi Octopus was much smarter than any oyster or clam. He had eight powerful arms. Each one had two rows of suction cups that helped him fight or catch food. Uzi Octopus lived all alone. His home was a den where he could hide from enemies. He was a messy mollusk. Many old shells littered the opening to his den. At dusk, Uzi would slip out of his den. He would ooze in and around everywhere looking for food. Uzi Octopus liked to hunt for crabs, a favorite food. First, he squirted a cloud of ink into the water. It would help him hide. Then, he oozed along the bottom and began to sneak up on crab after crab. He caught each one with a squirmy arm. Crabby and Nabby were nearby. Look, there is that big octopus we have seen before, Crabby said. Yes, and look at all those poor crabs he has caught, Nabby sighed. Quick, let's bury in the bottom, Crabby urged. Crabby and Nabby hid just in time. Uzi Octopus oozed right over the top of them. When Uzi arrived home with his harvest of crabs, he slipped backwards into his den. I will be safer this way, he thought. I can watch to see if anything scary is out there. The next day, Uzi peeked out of his den with his big eyes. Carefully, he oozed out and about. Uzi Octopus was always careful because he had many enemies. Suddenly, a big stargazer was near. Uzi tried to hide by instantly changing color, but that hungry fish came closer and closer. Uzi let go a powerful weapon, an inky cloud that usually stopped anything. But that big fish kept coming. He opened his mouth and in went Uzi. Uzi Octopus was in big trouble, but not for long. The stargazer couldn't swallow Uzi with his squirmy arms and big head. That ugly fish spit him out, arms and all. Uzi shot a jet of water through his body and sped away. Oh my, thought Uzi, what a close call. I'm going to look for a new place to hide. Then he saw that one of his arms was missing. But Uzi wasn't worried. He knew that it would grow back. The big octopus found another hiding place and went to sleep. When he woke up, Uzi sensed something scary. Some strange animals were swimming in the water near his new den. Uzi oozed out a bit so that he could see better. I have never seen anything like those creatures before, he thought. They look like dolphins that would like to eat me. I'd better stay in my den where I'm safe. Uzi Octopus didn't know that those strange animals were divers. Helpful humans had come to study him. They placed a glass jar with a lid near Uzi's den. In the jar, there was a juicy shrimp, a tempting meal for an octopus. The helpful humans wanted to find out just how clever an octopus could be. They swam away where Uzi couldn't see them. Uzi was excited to see the shrimp. He oozed out to grab a tasty treat, but it was inside the jar. What kind of trick is this? he asked himself. But in a few minutes, Uzi's big brain told him just what to do. He turned the jar lid with a squirmy arm and grabbed a shrimpy treat with another. The helpful human saw right away how clever an octopus could be. It didn't take long for him to get that shrimp, one of the divers said. Now we see how quickly an octopus can solve a problem. Uzi Octopus oozed into his den again. 
Shy and smug, he lay hidden from the world. And like every other octopus, Uzi was always a clever critter.